Guys, today we've got early Jordans and I don't even know. I've been out of the country for a while, so the boxes have been stacking up. Like seriously stacking up. So let's kick it off with a good old Nike pull tab. All right, I feel like I do. Okay, yeah, this one's gonna be very fitting. So we got a pair of Air Maxes. Now, strangely enough, this wasn't actually an Air Max Day release, which I feel like it should have been. But of course, we got the Sport Royal Air Max Big Bubble. Yeah, I am glad I picked these things up. They are, they are nice. So literally exactly the same box as the red one that dropped a couple years ago. So it's all like kind of, you know, distressed and it's got that like Air Max bubble unit on the side. But the Nike swoosh, I really like this box. I feel like it went very well with the red pair because it's, you know, it's kind of red. But hey, I'm not mad at this shoe whatsoever. I don't know. There's just something about the blue that I think I prefer over the red pair. So these dropped, I believe, March the 22nd, and the pair that actually dropped on Air Max Day was the green midsole one, which thankfully they dropped both because, you know, we started seeing leaks and rumors of the green midsole pair, and we were all like, damn, okay, is that the only one they're gonna be dropping? Like, I'm not mad at that colorway, but I would definitely prefer the white midsole one. It's just a lot more wearable. It kind of goes with this pair of shoes much better. If you wanted a piece of Air Max history, this is a solid pair to go with. The big bubble and all of the other specification designs to be as close to the OG as possible. And I think in this blue colorway, they're looking clean. Let me know if you picked them up or not. I think they're still sat around, so it's not like it's an insanely hyped pair. All right, from Nike straight over to Adidas. Now this is also a release that happened a good while ago. Yeah, you probably already know what this is. And I don't think I'll ever not like this packaging. That's one of my favorite things with this entire collaboration. It is just so premium. Ooh, and the sneakers themselves. This is the fear of God. LA Runner. Nice looking colorway. I mean, really not bad. The upper feels super soft. Wow, this is actually crazy. Like, look at this upper. That just feels like it's going to be extremely comfortable. I mean, it's, it's you know, one of those shoes that, you know, normally when you try and make a comfortable sneaker, you go for the midsole. Make the midsole nice and soft. And this is pretty mid. I don't think it's going to be that comfortable. I'll try it on. But the upper feels like it's going to be comfortable. It feels slightly padded all around. It's really nice suede that covers the upper as well. So I think they did a good job with these. Let me just slip my foot in these things and see if they are actually as comfortable as they feel. Yeah, that upper is super nice and soft. I think that's probably the most uh, comfort aspect of this pair of shoes is the upper. It does feel, you know, really nicely padded. Strangely, they're pretty big. They feel like I should probably have gone a half size down, which, you know, looking at them, they seem like they're gonna be pretty narrow and uh, tight around the toe box. Nevertheless, this might be my favorite shoe from from the entire Fear of God Adidas collaboration. It's kind of good looking. It's, you know, nothing crazy, but you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the other models. I think this might be my favorite. This and the basketball shoe are pretty solid. And this one happens to be the most affordable as well. All right, what we got in here? Let's find out. If this is what I'm thinking, I think it's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a wild card. Oh yes, it is. Okay, so we got a pair of Merrill shoes and this is their brand new, their brand new foam shoe. So this is kind of like the update to their already existing Merrill foam shoe. And it's got a little bit more of a cooler look. So I definitely wanted to try these things out because, you know, I'm a big fan of foam shoes. They're very comfortable. And I wanted to see if these things live up to the previous version. I don't know how much you can see from uh, me standing all the way back over here. But they feel pretty good. They don't feel as like soft and squishy as other foam shoes, which is a little bit strange, but they feel a little bit more like an actual pair of shoes because you do kind of have an outsole on these things, which is definitely a lot more firm. You know, it's actually some traction. And then it has a traditional midsole, which is made of foam. It feels okay. The upper is nice and soft. The only issue with these is that they're a little bit big. Other than that, I think these things look really cool. It's definitely one of the better looking foam shoes that I've seen recently. It's just maybe not as comfortable as I was hoping them to be. These could be a vibe. I don't know. Let me know what you think of these things down in the comments. All right, let's get into this one and uh, just Judging off of the shipping label, I think they're gonna be pretty crazy. Right, I don't think I'm ready for this, so I don't think you guys are gonna be ready either. Oh my God. We got an animal in here. Yeah, wow, what in the world? This is definitely gonna be up there uh, with one of the most wildest shoes we have ever taken a look at on the channel. So this is the box that it comes in, so you can only imagine what the hell is on the inside. So it's a uh, literal fur. It feels very, very soft, kind of like a bear. Okay. <laughs> 
Here you go. You've got uh, the bear clogs. Look at that. Man, the toes are a little bit messed up. Well, what's going on with these toes? What in the world? So they seem extremely wide, like when you look at them, but obviously that is just the fur. You might just need to, you know, get a little comb, comb them down. Let's slip these things on. Let's see what they're like on foot. Damn, they fit. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how much you can see. With the toes, these things look crazy. They slide on all right. I mean, they fit pretty true to size, like exactly. I got a pretty comfy. They kind of feel like, you know, a pair of Birkenstocks or something like that. This foam or cork, they're actually a little bit more comfortable. Like this does have some give to it, this sole. So it's from a brand called Bravest Studios. These are called the bear claws or the bear, you know, clogs. And I think it's just such an interesting pair of shoes because with a pair of pants, when you cover up, you know, all of this, it does actually actually look pretty cool. These are very wide. I think this is a very well done pair of clogs. Like this fur feels really, really good. These are metal claws to replicate, you know, bear claws. And the box that you get them in, you know, is really, really cool. This is something that's just very different. I like these things. So let me know what you think of these things down in the comment section. All right, let's get into this one. Oh, okay. I know which one this is. Went out and grabbed me a little bargain. So I've been telling you guys, there is some steals out there. We picked up the Yeezy 7. 700 V1 analog for way under retail. When they restocked last year in 2023, the price absolutely plummeted on these things. I think they made a decent amount. And now you can find these things like I paid, I think maybe 180 for these things, 180 pounds, and they retail at 250 pounds. So I'm sure you could find them for even cheaper if you're around the US or something like that. I don't have just an easy wearable pair of 700 V1s. Like I've got the Wave Runners, uh, and then I've got all of those orange mid sole ones that you can kind of see in the back over there. Right now, there's quite a few different websites, especially here in the UK, retailers that are selling Yeezys for under the retail price. Like they're literally discounting them. Either way, it's a little PSA. Go and look for some under retail Yeezys if you were after them because you can find some pretty solid steals. All right, we got a massive box with uh, multiple sneakers inside. Probably one of my new favorite brands. The brand is called Flowers for Society. Which one is this? Damn! So this is called the seed one model it looks insane like look at the midsole on these things that is so freaking cool this is a model that i haven't tried yet uh this colorway interesting the other model that i tried out is like one of the most comfortable shoes that you could buy this split tongue design is gonna make it so comfortable when you're wearing them because it's not gonna rub up against your ankles like other shoes do when they have these like tiny tongues. All right, we've got another one. This is their new, uh, they're calling this the Radical Low Topless model because it doesn't have the cage that the other one had. But if you wanted something a little bit more toned down, but still with this midsole looking super futuristic and different, it's got a super flat outsole. So you just feel really like kind of, you know, flat to the ground. All right, last pair of shoes. Okay, which one is this? Okay, this is instantly gonna be my favorite. That is sick. Just these things in all over off-white. I've got ankle socks on at the moment, and I feel like this is going to make it so much more comfortable. I can't believe I've never seen any other shoe have this. Oh, it makes them easier to get on as well. Can you see on foot? I should have like a little on-foot camera. Yeah, these are comfortable. These actually, I think, are more comfortable than the other ones. This should always be a design element. As a game changer, these things are sick. In same quality as well. And I think the prices are pretty reasonable. Final pair, let's get into these things. Pretty excited for these, actually. I know maybe it's not the most hyped, but I'm keen to check these things out. Ooh, okay, that's not what I was expecting in terms of the box. What? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Why is it in this box? Is this the box going forwards? This is the Jordan 4 Vivid Sulfur. Very, very strange. Let me feel this leather real quick. It feels okay. Not as nice as I was hoping. Very similar to the Seafoam Green pair that we got, I believe, last year. Speaking of that pair, it's also the exact same kind of color blocking. So, you know, fire red four color blocking, you've got the black accent. These do have a sailed out midsole, which is pretty nice. And I think it's definitely a solid pair of fours. I like these things. Maybe not the best leather, but it's nothing like terrible. It's like standard Jordan 4, if you guys get what I mean. Something that's a little bit strange, which I did not expect, was the mismatch of the yellow color. So you've got one certain type of yellow on the inside. It's lighter, brighter, but then all of the rest of the yellow, like the midsole and the 
the ice days, that is a darker color of yellow. I guess if you're wearing, you know, longer pants that kind of cover this part, it's not going to be the biggest deal. April 6th, I think uh, a decent amount of people are going to like these things. Caveat being that, yes, these are a women's release, which is a little bit unfortunate. I wish they would just do, you know, full size run for anybody. Either way, let me know what you guys think of the Vivid Sulfur Jordan 4. Are you going to be going for them or is this a pass? That is all the packages I got. Click over there to check out another video that uh, YouTube's recommending to you.